Okay, I'd like to talk to you about some basic things, just basic computer things. First off, you'll notice I ask you to virus check your documents before you upload them to Blackboard or send them to me. And if you don't have a good antivirus program, you can get one, a really good one for free. It's called Avast, so you just go to Google, type in Avast, hit search, which I've already done. And here we see Avast, uh, and this is the Avast site. Make sure it's from the Avast site. And here we have free antivirus software. This is the only antivirus software I use on my home computers, and it's great, and computer people say that it's great. So just click Learn More, and then click Download. The only thing is they will ask you to create an account, to register for an account and that's free also and if you don't register for that free account it will turn off your antivirus in 90 days but if you get the free account which is free then you have free antivirus forever so it's a really great deal a second basic thing about computers that you need to keep in mind is that you should have a word processing program that will allow you to look at reviewer comments and I have a paper from last semester opened up uh, with uh, uh, in uh, word processor in uh, Microsoft Word and this is the paper as the student submitted it but if you go to the review tab and if you have an earlier version of Word you can do the same thing it just looks a little different if you go to the review tab go to where it says markup and ask it to show the final markup and now you see what's uh, going on here. Are, these are all the comments that I gave the student. And they're you know, included in the paper as reviewer comments. And what's really great about this is that let's say that you wanted to accept this comment of mine, which was to delete this sentence. You just right click on it and you accept the deletion. And it changes it automatically and of course you have these comments here in the uh, uh, margin from me giving you direction. So it's very important that you have something like this so that you can uh, be able to access the comments that I have given you. And finally, uh, let's say that you don't have uh, Microsoft Word or another expensive uh, uh, you know, word processor program so you can't look at the reviewer comments here's one way that you can do it uh, there's a lot of free stuff on the internet free software on the internet open office is one of these open office is a uh, suite just like Microsoft Office however it's free so what you basically do is go to open office make sure you go to the open office site click on it and say that you want to download OpenOffice and just click on that and it will download OpenOffice for you. And now finally if you have OpenOffice you need to be able to see the comments so let me open up OpenOffice on my computer and so then to be able to see the comments and everything you go to edit, no to view comments and now you can see the comments and then you go to edit changes and show the changes and now you can see the changes and one final thing if you want to do this use open office you need to let me know because I will have to send you your file back to you uh, as a word file not RTF And last but not least, I require that you send me files in RTF format. RTF is rich text format, and that makes it possible for any word processor to open it up. And oftentimes a student will send me a file in the native uh, format of their word processor, and I just can't open it up. So to save something in word uh, in rich text format, you go to save and this will look pretty much the same uh, regardless of your word processor. Click Save. 
and then it'll say something like save as type and you just go down the list until you see rich text format and you're done